the wreck of the Titanic was discovered in 1985 by a team of American and French researchers using a newly developed ultra-sensitive sonar system combined with advanced acoustic technology. And since then, researchers have been exploring the wreck. In 1986, a small underwater robot named Jason Jr. or JJ produced these images. JJ was tethered to a man submersible nicknamed Alvin, hovering just yards away. But now, with advanced communications and guidance systems, a new generation of vehicles is able to dive deeper and remain submerged for longer. Uh, if we want the robot to hold position, uh, in the past, in the days of Titanic, you'd uh, be sitting there with a joystick and you'd sweat pouring down your brow and you'd be holding position against the currents and trying to keep the heading and the depth and the position constant. Uh, now, the control systems of the robots, uh, essentially all you do is push a button and it's uh, sort of like the autopilot on an aircraft, for example. Nureus can collect samples or conduct experiments using its robotic manipulator arm. It works on rechargeable lithium-ion batteries similar to those used in cell phones and laptops. Battery life is around 20 hours and takes 6 hours to recharge. Using computer program systems designed for flying drones and modifying other computer programs, Bowen's team helped introduce robotic guidance controls to undersea exploration. As Nereus goes to the seafloor, it's essentially trailing a very uh, thin thread, literally the, what I'm holding here in my fingers. It, it spins this almost spider web, glass spider web behind it as it goes about its business in the ocean. And this glass is what allows us to actually communicate to the robot and provide the kind of connection that's necessary to control it and receive the information back to the surface. Scientists can control the Nureus from hundreds of kilometers away as it carries out forensic activities along with mapping the seafloor and prospecting for oil and minerals. Robert Ballard, a former United States Naval officer, is credited with discovering the wrecks of the Titanic and the battleship Bismarck. I don't even have to be on the ship now. I now have a telecommunication center at the Graduate School of Oceanography at Rhode Island, and I have a command center, and I walk into that command center and I think I'm on the ship. These new technologies are less expensive and more efficient than the old ones. With these robotic technologies, you can put the robot down and leave it down. So that was a key, that we had robotic technologies that could literally stay down till we tracked her down. And that, that, that was a key to our success. We had low light level cameras that could see much better in the dark. All sorts of innovations that came uh, in that period of time that made the Titanic's discovery possible. 100 years after the unsinkable Titanic struck an iceberg, the wreck is still revealing her secrets.